So we're going to eat. Bree's parking right now, but we came here not too long ago uh, to have breakfast and I raved about it then. Mm. Their coffee is rather enjoyable. Is it a local brand it's or something? It's a local brand, it has chicory in it. Look at this, stuff. everything is so old. The French Quarter was, uh, what, 1700s, 1800s? 17, I believe. Well, New Orleans was founded in 1718, as we've said before. Yeah. But these actual buildings, I don't know. I mean, these can't, you think 1700s? We learned how old the oldest remain, like, I don't know. Oh, on another note, hold that thought. Let me get up here. See that, po'boys? Those are really good. <laughs> I've been eating them a little too often here. They're like uh, sub sandwiches made on French bread, basically. But I had for my birthday yesterday, I had soft shell crab, like three of them, on a sandwich, you know, just whole, fried, with mayonnaise, and it was my birthday, so I don't feel too bad, but, I mean, it was, yeah, it was amazing. But they're really so good. I mean, look at this. It's such a quaint place. I bet this omelet's gonna be really good. Christmas tree looks pretty. This is ridiculous, guys, honestly. I mean, as I've said, the food's amazing. Hey, Deb, say hi. Hey, hello. <laughs> but this is homemade orange marmalade. Oh, orange, man. homemade mor uh, orange marmalade. I'm never gonna say that properly. Uh, we have, but anyway, the point I'm getting at, look at this. It's just insanely bad. unhealthy and big, but amazing. I think we're going to the French market. We're What's just trying to walk around and work off some of our food. Is that like a flea market that sells new stuff, probably? Touristy gift shop items? Yeah. Ooh, nice legs today. Thank um, you. Okay, look at this. This is a residence right here. I get, is this like a duplex type situation? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. But look how narrow it is as you walk up, and they have, I guess for security? They have these extra doors, these... Or for style, I don't know. It just reminds you of hundreds of years ago, rightfully so, but we, we're so different now. In some ways. Yeah. But in other ways, we're so much the same. Like seriously, think about Christmas morning, 1910. What was happening in this house? You know, with these stairs that are likely original. Opening presents. Probably, that's a good hypothesis. Yeah. Okay. What am I looking at? This building uh, is from 1834. Thought, oh, it is? How yeah. do you know? I read it on the sign, so I thought you might like to see. Oh, cool. All right. we know a date. 1834. It was a stable. As you were saying, it's been destroyed by fire so much over the years because when one of these places catch fire, they tend to spread really easily. And if you're talking 100 years ago, it's hard to... To get through and put these out. It's only 16 blocks or something. It's not a big area, so it's easy for it to all burn up quick. This street isn't one of them, but many of the streets here are still made of cobblestones, and the cobblestones are older than any of the buildings. I always think about how many like feet and carriages and cars have gone over them over yeah, hundreds of years. Exactly. It's neat, and like you know, the people obviously who built these are long gone. And then their, their children and grandchildren are probably long gone. That's how old some of this stuff is. Now these look a lot newer here, yeah. down here. Here is the French market, which looks like, yeah, just kind of a typical, what you would expect based on what you're looking at. That's pretty cool. A lot of art down here, if I haven't said that enough. And there's a lot of good art. But I'm, again, I'm the type of person who sees any art and thinks it's amazing because it's... Not any art, you're very critical. Well, if it's packaged nicely, I, I, I'll fall for it. Yeah. So that's what it used to look like. It would be cool if it still did. But not really, because that means we'd be living back then and we wouldn't have cars. Or, or air conditioning. Or iPhones. You guys are really proud of the, uh, the Florida Lee here, right? That's what that's called. Yeah. And it's like a daisy. It's a lily. It's a lily. Yeah. It doesn't corn. look like a lily. I thought it was corn forever. Yeah. I think it's funny that it looks like corn. But it's a lily. And I strongly object to the language here. That's improper English. Do you know? Yeah. Well, we've talked about that, but whatever. It's a thing. I don't feel like getting beat up right now, so I'm just going to be quiet about it. This place is amazing, Brianna. I mean, you've got so many great things. It's actually better than I thought it would be. Well, good. You know? I'm glad. Look at all of this stuff. You can get any 
type of jewelry or t-shirt you want. <laughs> or Florida de Lille. The French market here is actually it was a lot better than I thought it would be. Bigger than you thought, right? Bigger than I thought, a little more diverse. So I, I, I jumped to a conclusion a little too early on it, I think. Uh, but it was good. So this is the old United States Mint. Right here. 1838 to 1909 it was in business. And that is my new RV pulling up right now. Neat. I really want one of those, seriously. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's like a really nice RV. I should get one. We're going to do that. Yeah. You and me. We're going to do that. It's on video.